My dear students, welcome to Unit 3, Week 6, uh, that extends from the 11th of February till the 15th of February. This video is about individuals and societies for Grade 8. Let's start with the first lesson. The first lesson is entitled, Why are people living longer? By the end of this lesson, you will be able to recognize the variety of processes that contribute towards population change. Our word wall is going to include living, longer, contribute, factors, life expectancy, reasons, epidemics, uh, famine, drought, well-being, conflict, war, and natural disasters. You're going to watch a video about why people are living longer in some countries more than others. We're going to uh, concentrate on why people live longer in developing countries more than developed countries. You're going to click on a picture, okay, to read an article and summarize the reasons why the people in Italy are living longer than the rest of Europe. After that, you're going to watch a video about uh, longest life expectancy. The highest one is going to be Hong Kong in the first rank with a life expectancy of 85 years, 85 till 86 years old. You will have another interactive activity and, of course, further practice. Um, you, for the challenging question, there will be a worksheet provided. You're going to click on the picture to answer the questions in the worksheet. And then you will have a self-assessment course. To revise everything you took, you're going to click on next picture to do an activity to revise everything we took on this day. For lesson two, I've prepared a photo gallery project where you're going to take and gather pictures that highlight overpopulation issues in the modern world. You're going to write captions reflecting your understanding of population issues, their causes, and recommend solutions. Our word wall is going to include photo gallery, overpopulation, population explosion, caption issues, causes, and solutions. You're going to watch a video about photo galleries and you're going to collect pictures reflecting population issues around the world in your groups. After that, you're going to watch a video about population issues around the world, how population growth impacts this planet. Now you're going to write cap captions for each picture reflecting your knowledge regarding population issues and you're going to suggest solutions. You're going to have further practice. And for the challenging question, I, I wanted to do something new. So for the challenging questions, I want you to use your artistic skills to make a painting reflecting population issues around the world. For the self-assessment, you will have a link uh, that you are going to follow to take the self-assessment quiz. And uh, you're going, for what to do tomorrow, you're going to take pictures of overpopulation issues in Jordan. In lesson three in week six, you're going to recognize migration and immigration. You're going to recognize the impact of migration on population. Our word wall is going to include migration, immigration, impact, population, and push and pull factors. Um, you're going to watch a video about population migration uh, push and pull factors, how people are affected with internal and external conflicts and internal and external uh, issues and how that uh, affects population and their movement inside the country and outside the country. You're going to have uh, an interactive activity related to the video and then you're going to watch a video about push and pull factors in precise. You will have another interactive activity uh, related to that. And of course, further practice if you need more practice about push and pull uh, factors. For the challenging question, I wanted to do something new again. So I want you to create an infographic on a country of your choice. The infographic should provide the following information. Statistical information on population size, birth rate, death rate, life expectancy, infant mortality. You need to, implement, to use visuals and graphs, maps, population pyramid, and relevant images to reflect population structure within the country. You will have a self-assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to revise everything you took 
through pressing on the next picture. I can't wait to start this uh, fruitful week with you guys. All the love and respect.